Thank you, Keith. Up next is Leah Margulies from Law Help New York. Yeah. Live help is vital to the goal of 100% of persons in need getting some form of effective assistance, and I mean effective. It is key to this strategy. Um, we, we launched in 2010, and we've been working on it now for five years. Our statistics have really changed. This year, we had 7,800 plus chats more than 2,000 more than last year, and about 35% from our mobile site. Please note that 35% are visiting with a family law issue. How do we know that Life Help provides a useful, effective service? Because we get all this user feedback. I love this one. I'm over 60 and not the most computer savvy, but once I found the live chat icon, everything fell into place. We have hundreds of these wonderful comments and they are a lot better than the comments just on the main site. So we partnered with Legal Information for Families today because of family law being so prominent. They are the main legal information website in New York State. They cover live help nine hours a week. We also partner now with uh, the court system on the Brooklyn Housing Court Navigator Project where Life Help is mounted on the computer in the housing court clerk's office. This is a mini portal we did for that project on housing rights. Of course, you all know this slide, that mobile substitution that people with lower incomes are more likely to use their phones for internet access. So we worked on a TIG grant with Pro Bono Net and Lonnie to put uh, mobile and to ha add live help in English and Spanish on our mobile site, which launched in June of last year. And as you can see, our, we're up to 35% uh, coming in from mobile. So our newest partnership with the courts is um, on adding the live help button to uh, the court help site, which is their unrepresented litigant site. And we, we're trying it out with the foreclosure resources first. We just launched last week, well, two weeks ago, uh, December 14th. And, uh, we, we, our operators are trained to use the resources on law help and on court help. And using court, uh, law help, they can get to legal services offices as well. Um, we are currently on seven pages of the court help site. And uh, by the way, the day after we launched, we got this great article in the New York Law Journal. Uh, about the launch, so it was really exciting for all of us. Uh, this too is part of a TIG grant. Um, and the other thing we've been doing is adding life help messages onto our social media. This is our blog, realny.org, and we highlighted the fact that uh, New York State has still 40,000 foreclosures a year. We have 90,000 cases in court right now. So uh, the importance of life help is really key. We use law students as our operators. Uh, in New York, they're filling the new requirement of 50 hours pro bono. So in 2014, we had 122 operators from 12 law schools. Now we have 32 from nine law schools just for this semester, and we're able to provide life help nine to nine, four days a week until six, uh, fifth day. They all get training. We train them on the live person console, on canned chats, on issue spotting, on cultural competency. And uh, we did special training for the launch of life help on court help with two webinars that we worked on with uh, Rochelle Clintoner's office, she's here, um, where we focused on the foreclosure resources and on how to use court help. And we also developed a new set of canned chats in English and Spanish 
that we did a special uh, disclaimer for the court help site, uh, showing the court help centers, the public access law libraries, e-filing, which is coming into New York, and uh, using the clerks for procedural questions. So these are all chats our operators use. We also use our social media. Uh, this is a, tw a tweet about live help and a Facebook page about live help uh, because we're absolutely convinced that this is a key strategy for people getting satisfactory service. Um, we also use traditional old-fashioned promotion. These are our four by six cards that we developed after we launched the mobile site in English and Spanish on both sides. And we've given out thousands of cards already. And I'm happy to say we had 10 college summer interns last summer. Not only were they navigators in the Brooklyn Housing Court Navigator Project, but they used these cards and our other promotion all over New York City. Uh, here they are at Audrey Lord, a LGBT center in Brooklyn a, a, with the court mobile van, at um, community events and street fairs. Our interns spoke Spanish, Chinese, Creole, and Russian. So they just reached thousands of new people this summer. But it's also really important to our law school volunteers. As one of them, we collect testimonials Here's from one, being able to aid individuals in need of legal help truly made me feel as though I was a beneficial part of society. Although I have worked at many law firms, working in a pro bono capacity gives us a totally different level of gratification.